I'm often asked, uh, and occasionally in an accusatory way, are you atheist? You know, the only ist I am is a scientist, all right? I don't associate with movements. I don't, I'm not an ism. I, I just, I, I think for myself. The moment once someone attaches you to a philosophy or a movement, then they assign all the baggage and all the rest of the philosophy that goes with it to you. And when you want to have a conversation, they will assert that they already know everything important there is to know about you because of that association. And that's not the way to have a conversation. I'm sorry, it's not. I'd rather we explore each other's ideas in real time rather than assign a label to it and assert you know what's going to happen in advance. So what people are really after is what is my stance on religion or spirituality or God. And I would say, and I would say if I had to find a word that came closest, it would be agnostic. Agnostic, a word dates from the 19th century. Uh, Huxley. To refer to someone who, who, who doesn't know but is, hasn't yet really seen evidence for it but is prepared to Embrace the evidence if it's there, but if it's not, it won't be forced to have to think something that is not otherwise supported. Okay? There are many atheists who say, well, all agnostics are atheists. I, okay. I'm constantly claimed by atheists. I, I, I find this intriguing. In fact, on my wiki page, <laughs> I, I didn't create the wiki page. Others did, and I'm flattered that people cared enough about my life to assemble it. And it said, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson is an atheist. I said, well, that's not really true. I said, let me, I said, Neil deGrasse Tyson is an agnostic. Went back a week later, it, had been, it, it, it said Neil Tyson is an atheist again, within a week. And I said, what's, what's up with that? And I said, I now have to word it a little differently. So I said, okay, Neil deGrasse Tyson, widely claimed by atheists, is actually an agnostic. And some will say, well, that's, you're not being fair to the fact that they're actually the same thing. No, they're not the same thing, and I'll tell you why. Atheists I know who proudly wear the badge are active atheists. They're like in-your-face atheists, and they want to change policies, and they're, they're, they're having debates. I don't have the time, the interest, the energy to do any of that. I'm a scientist. I'm an educator. My goal is to get people thinking straight in the first place. Just get you to be curious about the natural world. That's what I'm about. I I'm not about any of the rest of this. And it's odd that the word atheist even exists. I don't play golf. Is there a word for non-golf players? Do non-golf players gather and, 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 and strategize? Do, do non-skiers have a word and come together and, and talk about the fact that they don't ski? I, I, don't, I, don't, I can't do that. I can't gather around and talk about how much everybody in the room doesn't believe in God. I just don't, I don't have the energy for that. And so I, agnostic separates me from the conduct of atheists, whether or not there's strong overlap between the two categories. And at the end of the day, I'd rather not be any category at all.